Let's talk about Saka and Foden. Now, Manchester City fans, Arsenal fans, there has been this growing debate over who is the better footballer, who is the better player for their club. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm an Arsenal fan, and as such, I may tend to be biased towards soccer, but as a YouTuber, I have to be balanced. And I'm going to start off directly by telling you what Foden has over soccer. Then I will delve into who is actually better of the two persons, right? Now Foden, what I admire about Foden is that he can play almost any position, literally any position in the attacking third. And he can play anywhere across midfield. He has played a central midfielder. He has looked very good playing as a central midfielder. He has played as a... <coughs> he has played as a central midfielder. He has looked very good playing as a central midfielder. He has played as an attacking midfielder. He has looked very good. A matter of fact, you have looked even better playing as an attacking midfielder. You have played as a left winger, left midfielder, right winger. You have also played as a centre forward, perhaps a false nine. And you have also played as a right midfielder. Now, the thing with Foden is that he plays well for Manchester City no matter where you place him on the field. Anywhere. You place him on the field. Foden is the man. He will play very well for Manchester City. And for that, I respect Foden. Now, personally, I don't believe that Foden should have been given play of the season last season. But he's English. It is the English Premier League. His team won the league. And he played very well last season. In the Premier League, I believe he had 19 goals and 8 assists, so that in itself is enough for the powers that be to say, hey, this player should be the player of the season. So I'm not saying it was a rubbish decision, but not necessarily one that I definitely agree with. Now. Saka, on the other hand, is versatile as well. Now, remember that Saka actually started out as a left back before transitioning into a midfielder. And when Saka was playing as a left back, Saka made that left back position his own and Arsenal team. In terms of in an attacking sense, Foden can play more position in an attacking sense than Saka and be more effective. However, in terms of playing all over the pitch, Saka can play better all over the pitch from defense to attack and will actually look better as a defender than Foden. And to be honest, we have not seen Foden play as a left back or a right back. so. The jury is out, but we're going after what we have seen so far. Just like from what we have seen so far, Maldini is a better defender than Messi. We have never seen Messi play centre back. But I doubt if anyone believed that Messi could go and play centre back and be better than Maldini. Now, I'm not saying that Saka is a left back and of a capability of Maldini. I'm just using that as an example. No. Saka, in my opinion, is more important to Arsenal team than Foden is to Manchester City. After Saliba, Saka is the second most important player on Arsenal team. And Saliba and Saka is the reason why Arsenal finished second in back-to-back -back season. They are the primary reason. They are the main protagonist. The other persons around them 
Averett, the Rife, Martinelli, Odegaard, and for all the greatness of Odegaard, I believe that Saka and Saliba are more important to this Arsenal team than they are. Now, for Manchester City, Phil Foden is important to the team, but I don't think he's as important to the team as Rodri, KDB, nor Erling Allen. And personally, Phil Foden, if he's not at Manchester City, they would have still won the league. That's how good that Manchester City team is. While Saka, on the other hand, is instrumental to this Arsenal team. If Saka was not at Arsenal, Arsenal would have struggled to finish second in the Premier League standing. Now, in terms of who is better, hypothetically speaking, I believe, and I will point to evidence why, why my belief has a lot of credibility, I believe Saka is the better of the two footballer because if you play Saka in Manchester City team, Saka would play better than Phil Foden would play if you play Phil Foden in Arsenal's team. Meaning that if Phil Foden comes to Arsenal, Phil Foden would not have the same production level or the same quality as Saka would. But if you put Saka in Manchester City's team, he would have the same quality, if not more, than Phil Foden. Now you might be saying, how do you know that? Well, for one, I'm saying I'm speaking hypothetically. And for two, both of them play together for England national team. In England's team, we all know who is the man. The man is... Saka. Of course, there is also Harry Kane. But when it comes to international football, Foden has been deemed a flop, while Saka has been deemed the man. Now, a lot of persons have been saying that Foden, why Foden has not risen to the level that he plays for Manchester City when he plays for England is because a 24 year old midfielder is not playing his preferred position. Now remember, both of those two players, Saka and Foden, their preferred position is right wing. Interesting, right? Now, the coach, for some reason, believe that Saka is the better of the two, so Saka gets to play that right wing position, while Foden doesn't. And that why a lot of persons are using as an excuse to say, hey, Foden is being played out of position and you cannot expect him to have the same production level or the same quality that Saka has. But here's my answer to that one. Remember, I started off and I said one of the things that I like about Foden is his adaptability, his ability to play multiple positions on the football pitch so when he's playing for manchester city he can play multiple positions and he can look very effective however when he's playing for england suddenly he needs to be in his comfort zone don't you find that hilarious i certainly find that hilarious as well So just to look at the few times that Foden actually played as a right winger for England, he played there in a 1-0 loss against Brazil, he didn't do anything. He played there against Italy and Malta in European qualifier for 90 minutes, he did not wow us either. He played against Scotland as a right winger and he got a goal in that match. He played against the Ivory Coast in a friendly match and he had an assist. Then he played against Croatia and Scotland 
for 71 minutes and 30 and 63 minutes respectively was not the best of player in those match played against Poland and Albania played better than he did against Croatia and Scotland but still not the Manchester City for them coming out so in all those matches playing as a right winger in his preferred position Foden has given us one goal and two assists now remember people are saying that Phil Foden is a very versatile footballer who can play anywhere on the football pitch but when it comes to England team all of a sudden he needs to be playing in his preferred position how ironic now look at this one now Saka has been playing as the right winger on England's team right midfielder depending on the formation that they use for quite a few matches well at least he starts there but in some match just like Foden he end up in other position but Saka has played out of his comfort zone for England as well and when he has played out of his comfort zone he does look better than Foden when he plays out of his comfort zone but I'm going to be honest because I'm not intellectually dishonest like some people in those matches that Saka played out of his position his preferred position it wasn't necessarily against the best teams in the world it was against Austria he scored Andoria he scored San Marino he scored Hungary, Italy, Italy, former European champions before Spain. So it is not the best of the best where you can say yes. Saka lit up the world playing as a left winger or a left midfielder. Guys, let me know what you believe. Do you think that Foden is a better footballer than Saka at the club level? I can say that they are dead level. I will give Saka the edge. Guys, let me know if you think that Saka is a better footballer than Foden or Foden is a better footballer than Saka at the club level. They are dead level in my opinion. But because Saka is more important to Arsenal team and Arsenal is a weaker team than Manchester City, I will give Saka the edge seeing that it is easier to perform in a team where you have better players around you, the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, compared to Saka playing in a team of lesser quality players. What I will use now to separate them even further though is their performance for England and the fact that Saka has been able to become the man for England while Phil Foden has frustrated England fans. Let me know what you think of this video remember to like remember to share remember to subscribe and keep making it epic football for all your football content peace out for now